Time now for Good For Utah Gardens, brought to you by Mill Creek Gardens. Spring has sprung, and Mill Creek Gardens is the place to be. I'm with Loreen, and we're talking about all the cool things that we're doing for spring. And we're starting with the veggies and things that you can eat, right? Well, there's fruits and vegetables you can put right now, these wonderful raspberry starts. And this is a raspberry start that is a bush variety. It's called raspberry shortcake. It only gets about three feet tall, so you can put it in a small garden or in a container. And then you'll the have, when would I get raspberries? If in, I the summer. This? in the summer. In the summertime. In the summertime, yes. Nice. There's also one here. This is a blackberry. This one here is called baby cakes. And so you're going to get blackberries on this. It's also really a wonderful thornless variety, so you're not going to get because pecked out. Because blackberries can be really they can be dangerous brutal. almost. Yes. Yeah, they can be brutal. Yes. And this one doesn't have thorns. That's correct. Now, this is cute. It's really fun. Now, there's other veggies that you can plant right now that you can do without protection. And last week we were out here and we were doing these peas, you remember? And yes. look how much the roots have grown out on that. I just went and pulled it up. I cannot believe that. That's like six start. days. Yeah, it's a, it's a week's worth. So anyway, we have the kale, different kales. Hey, look at these artichokes. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's beautiful. We have all of the leafy greens like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage. This is red cabbage. This is radicchio. We have a couple of different types of radicchio here. Oh, they're beautiful. The Swiss chard, the red Swiss chard. Look how oh. beautiful those leaves are and how healthy it is for us. Gorgeous. Um, there's also some herbs. Do you eat many. it like this ever? I do. I do. Just yeah, eat you just it. take it off and Especially take a bite. Especially you know, the Yeah, kale's kale. so yeah. good. The herbs over here, these are wonderful. This is um, the curry. This is Santalina. This is one of my favorites. Um, thyme. Thyme. This is that it's beautiful. Thyme and it's very citrusy. Great for um, your summer barbecues, especially salmon. It's my fave. You've heard oh, me talk about it before. Yum. So also, you want to build your soils. It's really, really important. Well, we have all these gardener bloom. I think people always say dirt. Dirt's the stuff you wash out of your clothes, right? That's the correct. soil is what you want to plant and in. I'd, I'd rather see you buy smaller plants or less plants if you have a particular budget you're working with and build the soils. There's the gardener and bloom products, special for acid loving plants, the regular planting mix. Then the, down here is the harvest supreme, which is for edibles, which we're doing today. And then there's the raised bed potting mix. The milorganite fertilizer is excellent because it's a slow release organic. And then we showed this last time, it was the tomato tone for, it's awesome. This is the vegetable starts here. It's, it's um, a good one. It's funny, people are very particular about how they want their soils. And I bet you have to find sure, out what people sure. like and then and help them. Now, for all your other garden gear that you need, tools and accessories. You have great tools. We have all sorts of wonderful things. Now, Are you going to water something this. with that, Lorene, well, later? we can if we need to. <laughs> hey, here's the hat trick. Okay. This is a triple apple tree. What do you it mean? It has three different types of apples In on one it. tree? In one tree. How does that work? Well, they're grafted on right here and then they're, they're grown out like this and this has been trained to be an espalier and they'll grow along these, these branches right here and the most popular apple in the world is this Honeycrisp. It's the best so one. It's really But wonderful. it's so expensive in the grocery store. I mean, you have to like well, budget to, to, hey, <laughs> to it have tastes, them. It always tastes better when you grow it yourself. I so know, so do the plan and, and then it. you don't have to get it from the grocery store. And then what's this one? This one here is called Zestar. It's a great eating apple. And then there's also Sweet 16. So come in and we'll tell you more about it. It's really that awesome. That is wonderful. Look at the beautiful color for spring. Gorgeous. As you know, we always do the pansies and primroses and perennials. But we, well, it we, makes your yard so happy. It, it is. And, and you can put these in your container gardens or in your beds, the snapdragons can also take a lot of cold weather. Now, these would be normally green, and then in the summertime, they'd be really green. Look how they have the red tips to them right now. Yeah, and they're gorgeous. Foliage. And I can plant those in camas because it's cold, and they can sure, handle that. Sure. Now, guess what this is? What is that? This is a plug tray of petunias. It's the trailing petunia, oh, the super okay. petunias. And so we get these in. And what you do is we put these in the Look containers in the greenhouses, they and so they cute. grow on. And we get plants from all over the United States, and some of them are from many parts of the world. So come on over it. here. We've got okay. this vegetable start going here. You've got your garden We've yoga mat here. Yes, I see. The garden yoga mat. Remember this from last yes, time? Yes, I think it's and you great. Can move around on this guy. So this one here, we're going to do the wall of water. Okay. And you put it around your plant. And what you do is you put water in it because it acts as a greenhouse and it will keep it from freezing. Oh, it will. So you put your plant in here. You plant, you're gonna, we're gonna plant it in here. And, and you're planting you, a tomato. We're gonna plant a tomato. And what you do is you put it in there and then it gets big root system so that when it gets warm, you just either take this off or you fold it up down below and you just sit, leave it there. And you take this and put it in and it gets a huge root system and then the plant gets gigantic. Oh, so great. So it really neat, does protect your plant. Yep. Yep, really cool. So there's our tomato plant planted right in there. And again, last week we did the peas. So we have some other plants here to do. These guys here are the cutest little plants. They are? What are those? These are beets. 
Beets, and you plant your yum. beets. You take your beets and you put them about three to five inches apart. And I usually Look like to put that. them in a grouping, uh, uh, like a zigzag or a wider group, so that. And then you have your beets. All right, so Mill Creek Gardens, go right now because they have everything that you need for your spring garden. We talked about today the soil, the vegetables. Absolutely. I want that apple tree. Go see Lorene at Mill Creek Gardens. Thanks, Lorene. Every day is a great day. At it Mill Creek sure gardens. is. We'll be right back.